Good morning, good morning. I do thank you for tuning in. Um, before I jump into the uh, the message, um, shout out to the comment, okay, on the fella that really appreciated the uh, intro. Um, I don't remember the title of the video to tell you and go and watch, but you'll know it when you see it because it's kind of got some humor to the introduction but hey i gotta reach you right <laughs> i can't approach the fellas the same way i approach the females okay so i have to be able to pull you into the message <laughs> i'm glad it works right <laughs> stay tuned there is much more to come all right <clears throat> I have a sense of humor, okay? I like to be funny, okay? I will deliver these messages honestly and truthfully, but I like to be a jokester, okay? You know, I remember growing up in church, you know, I grew up afraid. You know, the things that my grandmother used to tell me, I was like, oh my God, you know, I just thought that. The Lord had it out for me. I just thought he was going to whoop my ass regardless of if I did anything, right? <laughs> but, you know, you have to take the journey for yourself. It's important to take the journey for yourself, okay? Because people, <laughs> people will lead you to believe that it's something totally different from what it really is okay but tapping into the energy there is a situation where there is going to be an unexpected outcome okay it's going to be like <gasps> you know um in this moment someone may be in the energy of feeling overwhelmed okay um they may be in their ego and this is causing your person collective to hold back at the moment. What's going on with your person? Yeah, but this person wants to be back in your energy. You know, right now they have what they value, okay, on their mind. Okay, They're, they could be suffering from um, habits, add addictions. Okay, um, but <clears throat> they're going through some changes. Okay, they're going through some deep personal, uh, physical as well as emotional and spiritual changes. You know, because they, you know they're looking back and they're thinking about the relationship and they feel like they missed it with you. Okay. This is showing up a lot. This showed up in a few other love readings that I've given. It's like somebody made a mistake, right? There could be space between you and this person. Yeah, like you and this person, you're not together. You know, but this person thinks about you all the time, okay? Um, this person knows that they made you feel unappreciated, okay? And you felt unappreciated. Okay, even though this person may have not approached you yet, but this person is looking back and they're feeling like they missed an opportunity with you. You know, like it's too late to make things right. There could be some gossip going on, okay? You know, your person, the time that you guys have been apart, your person has been going through a lot of, I hear, upheaval, okay? A lot of changes, a lot of things that have been pushing your person in the energy that they really need to um, self-reflect, right? And bring about some necessary changes in their life. If they do want to 
within a certain time frame because they're given this time to come back in your energy and try to come back into union with you, okay? Whoever you are in the collective. Um, what has been going on with your person? Right, soul contract, right? So this person is definitely headed back in your direction here. Um, let's see. What's going on with your person on the other side? Health. They could be uh, having some health issues. You know, they could have just found out some news or soon to find out. But yeah, um, they could be living with a lover. Okay. But understand that all is not happy at home. All right. Um, yeah, someone's being told to use their intuition. Okay. Because we are challenging times. Yeah, I'm telling you, whatever your person has gotten themselves into from the time that they've been away from you, it's like really caused them some major issues. Okay. Some problems. And it's really taken a toll and affected them in ways that they may have not thought they would be affected, okay? Uh, whoever this person is in your person's energy, um, it's a cycle with this person that's coming to a close. Yeah, it's someone that your person is supposed to move on from. But, you know, this person could be pregnant, okay? Yeah. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Yeah, but who, whoever you are, <clears throat> you're protected by your ancestors. But this person in your person's energy is in the uh, showing up in gold digger energy, okay? Meanwhile, your person is thinking about, you know, how to come back to you, how to show up to you. Um, Yeah, we're going to have an earth sign in the mix here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know, this earth sign and this water sign, right? And then there was, what, the um, fire sign. That's showing up strong in the air sign. It says, yeah, it's not the right time to let this person back in your energy, okay? It's not the right time. hearing healing has to begin okay changes have to be made you know this this cycle has to be completely over okay sacred space okay right your person needs time to heal you know no matter how bad they want to get back in your energy they need time to heal and they need to follow the advice okay and to and take the time out to heal okay allow healing to take place because if they come back to you the way they are right now, you know, they're not in a in a right place. You understand? And all that's going to happen is, you know, whatever they went through with this person is going to carry over. You understand? And it's like they're going to take out on you what happened between them and someone else. Okay? Yeah, this person is full of a lot of burdens. Okay? They created a mess for themselves. And they feel like you, they remember you. You know, you can help them feel better. You know how to make the pain go away, right? Emotional relief, right? They know you know how to help them feel better. You know, so they want to get back in your energy so you can make it all go away, right? But that's not your job. 
okay? Because that's a mess that your person made for themselves, right? They created that mess. It says home. They created that mess for themselves in their life. It's not your responsibility to clean up a situation they cause for themselves. You know, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be on your own path. You understand? It says it's all good. Okay, no matter how it worked out, no matter how it turns out, you will be okay, collective. This was something to teach you that your soul needed to learn. You know, you were being advised to use your discernment. Okay, and the, um, in terms of this relationship, right, sexual energy. See what I mean? They're missing certain qualities <laughs> that you carry. You know what I'm saying? They want your forgiveness, but they don't have the really right idea on why they really want to come back. You know? Stripping away the illusions. They know the truth of what it is, but they're not fully ready to commit. You understand? They want to move things into balance, but they have to heal first. That's the only way you can find balance is through healing. Okay? Right. Let go. They have to fully let go of the situation. Okay? No more anger. No more resentment. No more bitterness. No more laying awake and just dwelling on it. You know, they will have to fully commit and focus on what they're trying to build with you. And this person is in a place where they are struggling right now. They're struggling with this situation that they're coming out of. They're angry that they got caught up in the situation. They want to make the changes. They want to take the inner journey. But, you know, this female energy, you know, left them the omens, whatever this female energy, this illusion that they had them under, you know, it's really a hard one to get over. Okay, so Spirit is telling you this is not the time to let this person back in and move forward in a commitment. Yeah, masculine energy changes, right? This person has to go through the necessary changes first, okay, before they can return back to you. Because they have to come back right. You understand? They have to come back right. They have to. That is a spiritual warning for this person. You know, towards the collective. You have to come back to the collective right. Right. No more neglecting. No more neglecting the collective. Okay. Right. That's why this person is just left in thoughts. Because they know they have work to do. You know. They know they have work to do. They miss your inside jokes. They miss the chemistry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they just want to get back to you. Okay, this is what this person wants. They want to, they want to be able to get back to you. Um, will they do the necessary work? Let's see. In time, okay, it's gonna take time. Okay, some of some of you, your person won't even bother. You know, they'll feel like it's too late, and they'll just walk away from the situation, okay, and remain broken. But for some of you, your person will put in the necessary work to come back to you, okay, and try to figure it out, try to work things out. But they know that they have to make the necessary changes. Yeah, in order to bring you the happiness that you really want. Right, they know they have to come back grounded. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to have a reunion of souls. They know they have to heal. Healing energy, they know they have to. 
they have to heal from the past, you know, from what happened presently so they can move forward into their future. They have to grow in order to move things into balance. And that's the message. And I hope that helped. And I do thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed, stay safe, stay positive. Later. Oh, you let your feet run wild. Time has come as we are.